In my opinion, it is always a good idea to run a sling. However, due to budgetary constraints, personal preference, or because some manufacturers just don't put freaking stock attachment points on their blasters, you may, on occasion, have to run without a sling. And not having a sling makes a lot of things more difficult just because you are holding an object and you can't easily put it down. And one of those things that is typically more difficult without a sling is simply switching to a sidearm. In situations where you're completely out of primary ammo or it's broken or something and you're permanently switching to your sidearm, that's easy enough. You just eat your primary somewhere, set it down at the respawn, whatever. You draw your secondary and that's all you're holding, so you're good to go. However, another common situation is that you are using your primary, something happens, and there's somebody in front of you, and for whatever reason, this is not going to take them out, so you need to quickly draw a sidearm and just fire like one shot off, like a last stand situation or the end of a trade. And that's where things get tricky, because if you're holding a large primary like this and you need to draw a secondary just for a moment, you have to kind of do the awkward chicken arm thing or throw it on the ground or something because it's just in your way. and. That's no good. However, like most things in life, there is actually a technique for this, and I've been doing it for a while and it works well for me, so I thought I would share it with you. And in this example, I have a DZP 2.1 in my holster that you can't see because of the camera angle, but just pretend it's over here. Just remember its presence. So let's imagine a scenario where I'm moving through the field, I'm using my primary, and there's a target directly in front of me. I pull the trigger and even though it's an incredibly uncommon situation, it jams. Now, again, the fastest thing might just be to drop this because, I mean, what's it gonna do, break? However, let's say this is a blaster that I don't wanna break and I just don't wanna throw on the ground. What you should do is take your off hand and either grip the front of the blaster, or in the case of a Springer, grip the front priming apparatus on your blaster, be it a foregrip or a pump grip or whatever, and you're going to grip it tightly. Then, using your off hand, pull the blaster back into the pocket of your shoulder. Don't try to prime it, if that makes sense. Just pull the blaster into you to create a lock so that this hand is now completely free and this blaster is basically just floating there in space. Then, once you remove your primary hand, keep pulling the blaster back into that shoulder pocket and bring the blaster down at an angle, pushing up into this little crook right here still until it lays flat with your body or is basically just out of the way. So at this point, like my hand is completely usable and this is just, again, floating here. So I can draw my blaster, take exactly one shot because this is a Springer and the worst possible blaster for this demonstration, but it's what I had that could fit in a holster, even though you can't see the holster. So I, my decision making was uh, whatever. Then once the situation is dealt with or I've been tagged, reholster the blaster continue applying pressure into that shoulder pocket and you can bring it back and you are using your primary again. Although if it jammed, then returning it to this position doesn't really help you, but you can imagine. So let's watch it in motion. So I'm playing, fire, target, miss. And I'm good to go. Was that the smoothest transition in the world? No, because I don't have a sling, but you can see that even when you're moving quickly, it's not really a problem as long as you maintain the pressure on your shoulder. Because you might look at this and just be like, okay, what you're telling me is that I just need to get the blaster away from my body. So like I should just grab it and like move it like this or pull it away or something. But no, don't do that. If you have your blaster like this and you just kind of fling it, the weight distribution here is really bad and it's liable to kind of fishtail like this, which one, really hurts your wrist, and two, will actually kind of throw you off. You also might smack into something or just drop it, which defeats the point. Keeping it against your shoulder pocket gives you this whole range of motion that you're very in control of. But if you just move it in space, like the weight distribution here is just really bad. It, it's like here somewhere. So it's like holding a dumbbell out. Even if this were a shorter blaster that didn't have a shroud, gripping the mag well and then still pulling tight like this, although a little bit more awkward is still offering me a lot of control and I'm still able to completely move and maneuver freely while this is in a relatively secure position as if I had a sling. Now, if your blaster doesn't have a stock, then obviously you can't do this. But what I have tried a few times that has worked okay for me is pulling the blaster against my body like this, which actually works a little bit better if you grip the mag well, but you basically pulling it into the pocket and just using it as a brace because it still gets it out of the way. It's 
it's more in the way, but it's less in the way of just like holding it in space like this. Again, depending on the blaster, if you have like a strife with no attachments, then you can probably just move it. I mean, it's it weighs like nothing. But with a full size primary blaster, you want to brace it against something. The other obvious alternative that I also do quite frequently is to simply use your offhand. You holster the blaster on the off side of your body and basically just remove your hand from the primary. You draw your secondary, you use it, put it back, you're good to go. However, not everybody has good accuracy, reaction time, dexterity, etc. with their offhand, if that's not something that they do very frequently. So despite being an obvious, easy solution, that really doesn't work for a lot of people. It works for me because I am cross-eyed dominant. And if you don't know what that is, you can click on this video right up here to learn more about it and find out if you are cross-eyed dominant. And I know that this is a simple tip, but it is something that has seriously made my life significantly easier since I started doing it. So just remember, pull your blaster against your body when you move it out of the way. Use yourself as a brace. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.